it is time for a segment on here called the espresso shot. All right. Awesome. So I'm right. going to rhyme off a couple of questions for you. Uh, I want right. to see how fast you can answer them. Uh, right. We're going to try to try to do this two minutes and under. Right. Whatever. We'll see if we can get there. Yeah. We'll cool. cut it together. We'll cut it together. But nice. anyways, here we go. You stand by. We're ready to yeah, go. I'm good. I'm ready to go. Yeah. This is Will from uh, the Artery Community Roasters in Scuttlebutt Lodge. There in. Uh, I'm going to start calling it Scuttlebutt Lodge. That's going. I'm going to have to get a sign made. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Favorite coffee? Uh, Geisha. Favorite method of making coffee? Espresso. How do you make the espresso? So many different ways, but not conventional, I'd say, is the, the best answer I'd give. I don't, I don't stick to a, a one to two. You're driving down the road. You uh, have a choice to make. You hit the hotel, and uh, you got to either drink the hotel coffee or you got to go back out to the truck stop because uh, those are your only options on this one road town. Which one do you pick? Truck stop. Better because? conversation. Better conversation and, and probably cleaner plates. Cleaner plates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best coffee region, in your opinion? Oof, that's so tough. I'm going to go with Columbia. Columbia. All right. I love Columbia, yeah. Wash Colombian, you can't go wrong, yeah. Your go to start out coffee for someone just starting in coffee. As in, like, go to a cafe or, or you know, if you're going to drive through, get this. Or if you're going to, you know, if there's somebody that's never drank coffee before, they come up to you, you have to remove your product from the equation and say, right. all right, if you're going to start, you got to start with this. Right. Well, for one, I would say the roast. I would say don't, first of all, stop going with a dark roast. Just start going with a medium roast. So just kind of get your used to a bit of the acid in the back. So I would say kind of a medium uh, Central American, like a Costa Rican, Colombian coffee, something that's going to be super balanced, but still have some nice fruit to it, just to show you that like coffee can have a lot more f notes to it than just kind of like that that dark that dark taste, you know. We all know how I feel about dark. And final question: the biggest misconception about coffee. Man, that's so hard, you know. I, I'm, right off the bat, I think the biggest misconception I would say about coffee is that it should cost ten dollars a pound. It should cost way more than that. Which would drive the price in the stores up to about nine bucks a cup, probably. Which would just <laughs> so yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, it's that's, a tough I one. I right? that much, but yeah, like it's it's hard though. Like when you walk into the grocery store and you see like you know Costco and it's like two pounds of coffee for fourteen dollars. Like that's it's not the true cost of coffee, you know. Well, that's what we're going to try to do on this is educate a little bit more. That is the espresso shot with Will. <laughs>